Eric Reinbold, the rural Oakley, Minnesota man charged with making and hiding pipe bombs by a rural northwestern Minnesota hunting shack last month, was free after posting $15,000 bail. But now he's been arrested in Kansas this morning after apparently trying to flee. More on that in a minute. First, a little background on Reinbold. We have more details surrounding the arrest of 41-year-old Eric Reinbold for allegedly hiding explosives in northwestern Minnesota. Reinbold of rural Oakley has been formally charged with felony possession of explosives. The charge carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. According to court documents, just over a week ago, a property owner discovered a container on their land where a hunting shack is located northwest of Oakley. Inside the container, two pounds of rifle powder, six steel pipes, some with end caps and wires attached to 9-volt batteries, a kitchen timer, a bag of 9-volt batteries and toggle switches. Plus, authorities found a receipt to Eric Reinbold for the purchase of fuses found in the container. However, it's still unclear what may have been planned for the use of the explosives. Court documents indicate that during the investigation, Reinbold contacted a family member by text and voicemail, telling them to get the cops off the property because there is nothing there that can hurt anyone. Reinbold also asked the family member if cops had found an old gun buried on the property. Back in 2015, Reinbold was convicted on an assault charge stemming from a domestic situation in which he repeatedly rammed his wife's car with his vehicle. Part of his sentence at that time was a psychological examination and treatment. Now, back to what's happened this week. Red Lake County Sheriff Mitch Bernstein tells me a search was conducted at Reinbold's rural Oakley home this week. And during that search, materials Reinbold was prohibited from having as part of his release and current probation were found. So a warrant was issued for his arrest and he apparently fled and was picked up in Kansas this morning. No details on that arrest, but he'll be brought back to the Pennington County Jail in Thief River Falls, where he's scheduled to make his next court appearance on November 15th. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.